Hey, what's up, Halo fans? Welcome back to another exciting Halo video. Now, today's video is a special one because, um, you know, as you guys know, a few days ago, we had a massive update for the Master Chief Collection. Uh, mostly it was around, you know, mostly like with the, with the mods uh, that they've released. They've uh, released cut content that Bungie never released back in the day. But also, they've actually managed uh, to get something else to work, and that is the Scarab. Now, the Scarab, you guys might say to me, oh, but... This is nothing too new in the modding scene because we've seen the Scarab in the previous videos. Well, actually, no. This is a, this is the the real Scarab. The other Scarabs that we've seen in in the previous video, like uh, like Game Sheet 13 when you made that Scarab battle, uh, uh, was it called Scarab Assault or something on Sand Trap? Like that was cheap. That was hacky. But here is the real deal. Like this is people that actually fixed this. That actually got Scarabs to work in multiplayer and and it works amazing. It, it plays differently as well. And you know we get to that in a bit. Yeah, this scarab is not glitched or anything, it's not hacky. Uh, awkward, it goes to reject a shotgun for putting the scarab, uh, you know, on this map. And huge grass, you know, it's, it's amazing to play on. Uh, I just got one to play with, with a lot of you guys that, that are on PC. Uh, you know, it's going to be, be absolutely amazing. Like, we have all, all these new vehicles, you know, and old vehicles as well, like, coming in. And uh, we've got the jackrabbit there as well. But, but the video should be about the scarab, so I'm going to be talking about the scarab and showcasing the scarab. But yeah, um, so for those who are asking... Is the mod, are any of the mods are on consoles? Sadly, no. There's no mods on consoles uh, on Xbox at the moment. Uh, but don't lose hope, you know, do keep on begging 343 to, uh, you know, to port, uh, you know, mods onto consoles. I really want uh, console mods uh, uh, to have uh, console, uh, to have mod support. Uh, honestly, uh, they are missing out big time and I really want them to try this out. It is really amazing. Uh, but yeah, let's pray that when, you know, that happens. So yeah, uh, He's done. He's done an amazing job with this. Uh, and the scab is uh, is explodable. Uh, I don't want to explode the scab yet. We're, I just want to take my time. I would probably show that at the end. Uh, we can you know use the tank to explode that. Uh, I, I remember trying this mod, uh, this other scab mod uh, that I had previously. Like it, it like every time I would spawn in a, a weapon or something, uh, it would fall through the scarab, which is was was really annoying. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that that's not a thing. Uh, I don't know if there's any bugs with the scarab. Uh, there might be a few issues here and there but they're very very minor uh but yeah everything works um how it's supposed to be you know but anyways i want to show you guys something what rejected shotgun added rejected added a scarab turret so so yeah uh, someone can someone from up here can actually uh control the uh, scarab turret so you come in you come under this uh, mini um uh tunnel here so you can actually sit on the uh, scarab uh yeah, and just start blasting your turret. How powerful is this? Can I destroy the Falcon? <laughs> is only any damage? Don't think so. Okay, it destroys the Hornet. That's interesting. Maybe it doesn't destroy like the new vehicles. Maybe not like the Falcon. How about the Wraith? Oh, I'm not aiming properly. Uh, has it done much? Don't think so. But yeah, you can use the turret, which is which is uh, really nice. And um, yeah, you can actually you can also drive the scar. Now the driving physics looks a bit looks really different. Like the feel of it is very different compared to the other scar models I've tried out. Um, you know, go here. Actually, you have to go around here. So if you come all the way here and drive, yeah, drive scar over here. You can actually drive, you can actually move around with the Scarab, you can also fire. You can fire pretty far away, which is really nice. And you can also load down your Scarab. Let's check this out. So if someone wants to abort the Scarab, you can load it down. But that is so sick, dude. So so we don't need like to we don't need to have like a teleport or something or Going to custom game settings and increase the player jump height or something. You know, the jump velocity or something like that. Now, like, you can just lower it down. <laughs> I wonder if you can teabag. Hang on. Can I teabag? I think it takes a while for me to come back up. Hang on. Can I teabag? <laughs> I mean, I'm using the controller. It's just uh, it's a bit easier for me to showcase this more properly going around. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy that Rejected uh, added this in. I really hope he does add other vehicles, like, 
the Mantis. I do remember trying out the Mantis in in one of his, uh, I think it's Ultimate Forge, something. And it looked, and it was pretty fun to use, and the Wasp as well. I think I saw the Wasp on there as well. But yeah, this is a remarkable. I really can't wait to play with you guys. We need to get a squad going. Uh, hence why I want to make another. Uh, hence why I'm making this video uh, mostly because. Um, I mean, the, there's various reasons, uh, but the other reason is, you know, a lot of people don't know about the Scarrow. It's actually functional in multiplayer. So we could see the Scarrow in other maps, you know, other custom B2B maps, you know. I'm really excited to see more of this. Like, we, you know, we, we've seen a lot of the Pelican. We've seen a lot of, uh, with the, uh, with the Longsword. I mean, not the Longsword, not really. <laughs> the Longsword that we have there is pretty unique, so. But at least in CE, at least in custom edition days, we... Like the only vehicles will be the most used, like when it comes to air vehicles, it's um, it's it's the longsword and the, and the pelican. I mean, th those vehicles were were so new at the time. Yeah, like here, I feel like the scarab and the and the vultures. Oh, the vulture is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I just really can't wait uh, for for these vehicles to appear on other maps. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's really amazing that we finally have this. Uh, I'm still editing this forge map. Um, adding more vehicles, more weapons on there. Because um, by default, there's not a whole lot of vehicles. Um, so I'm just adding a bunch of vehicles. And then once we get a squad, a squad going, we can definitely yeah, play this. Uh, but anyways, let me just show you that we can destroy the Scarab. So, actually wait, I don't need to pull out a tank. But yeah, you can actually break off the legs. Um, just like just like you do in the campaign. You just uh, shoot the legs and then we go down. go all right let's see do you know what, do you know what else I want to try out I think rejected confirmed it but I just want to see something uh, I, I want to know if we can destroy um, the scarab with the covenant bomb so if you guys don't know about the covenant bomb it's over here let me show you So that's the Covenant Bomb. Uh, yeah, I, maybe we can give that a try. Uh, don't know if I'll do in this video. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, you know, in this video. Yeah, you can see the pieces as well. Wow, he actually... Yeah. I don't know if this was in... Was this in the Head of his campaign? Am I tripping? Maybe, yeah, I think it was. But they disappeared really quickly. So I couldn't really get a look, good look of the uh, damage of the scarab. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing that we finally have this. Uh, but yeah, if you guys uh, really love this video, uh, enjoy this uh, video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And do follow us on Twitch. I do want to try to stream this on, on Twitch. Uh, so go ahead and drop a follow. Uh, I will leave the link in the bottom description. So go ahead and drop a follow and I'll see you guys later. Bye.